Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows... Oh, more soldiers sent by Judas to Aww. stop Icy. Kill them. I don't want to refight every enemy. That was really amusing, though. Boing. There we go. I do somewhat suspect that the combat's more satisfying to watch than to play. Because for you guys, it probably looks really flashy and cool, but for me, I'm like, this feels odd? Like, it's hard to really articulate what feels wrong about it. But something feels really odd about it. Bye. So many hits. I see reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. I really lesson learned. Uh, definitely should uh, should load in at the at the at the city place that we found. It seems to be better located just across the board. This has like a whole linear area I have to fight through. But uh, there's- ah, ah, you again. Ow. God damn. Someone's getting grabby. No, I need to watch better. It's, you can you can see the little exclamation point coming, and that means you can attack. That means that's that's the no, no not attack. It means uh you you, you should dodge at that moment because that's when the attack's coming. But I have trouble spotting it in all the flashiness. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. I see moves to activate it. What? How did? <laughs> Let's go back to the city. It's just satisfying to be playing a fighting, uh, not a fighting game, an action game again. My, uh, lineup has been a little... Oh, not this for a little while. Last one probably being Dark Souls, I guess. I'm playing Pathologic, a game about slowly walking around town and talking to everybody. And Vampire, a game about slowly walking around and talking to everybody. And Grim Fandango, a game about slowly walking around to town and, and talking to people and then also solving adventure game puzzles. Uh, a disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Zero Escape, a game about mashing the A button while a story happens, and then that's your only real interaction with the story is to press the A button more, generally, until the story finishes playing out. Uh, Portal and Life is Strange, <laughs> which are also... Uh, one of them is a puzzle game, and one of them is more like dialogue, watching dialogue play out. I kind of want to play a game where I hit shit for a while, so it's, I'm happy to play this today. A bumper and X, I don't know about that. I'm not psyched about losing health. I mean, I would like to upgrade... Let's save up a little bit. I keep using the, these basic attacks, so we should probably upgrade them next, right? May launch smaller enemies there. XXXXY. Eh, let's, let's get it. Try it out. XXXY. Get me some combos. Oops. There we go. Whoa! Okay. Like she's angry. Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? I like that when I didn't summon the bridge that time, Just keep their, re their reaction was, How did you? Whoa. What? How did you? I see arrives at an unnamed town. <laughs> there is not a soul in sight. 
Its confusion sounds are kind of great. Searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. Can I go in here? It I can. Seems as if everyone has been wiped out. Uh. The culprit, most likely Judas. Gold. Can I have the gold? I want gold. Yay, money! Not not that much money, but money. I like money. I found a secret. Is it just a secret stash? Is that all this place is? I think so. Okay, so the you could go into the window with the B button. So now that I know the B button, we're a lot better off. Can I go in that door? How big? Wait. Look how tall that door is. Holy crap. Is Icy three feet tall? But this door looks way more correctly sized, maybe. I'm not sure. Wait. Can I go in that window? No? I tried. I'm just gonna hit B a lot. Icy decides to head deeper into town. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues uh, to follow the arrow. Let's go here anyway. Ow. Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature. Just like the attic. Can I go up here? I went into the coffin thing before. Ooh. More money. The game actively rewards you with upgrade points, basically, if you find its secrets. Which is the game showing its hand. But I mean, we're all being coy here anyway, if we all act like, oh man, I'm being a bad boy by going off route. Like, the whole point is that you're totally... You're supposed to go off route, and that's like the premise. It actually matches... I'm actually having a similar experience with this that I had with Stanley Parable back in the day, because of the things I did, one of the things that happened is I found the Stanley Parable's equivalent of the museum, like, immediately, where they're like, here's all of our old prototypes and ideas and stuff like that, and I'm like, this is a weird room to find at the beginning of the playthrough instead of near the end of it. But also I had, uh, there's the Stanley Parable location that, like, mocks you for thinking that you're ever doing anything that's off script, because the whole game is on script, even the off script stuff, that's the premise. Which, by the way, if you don't know what the Stanley Parable is, uh, type that into the search bar on my channel, because I did a playthrough of that already, so you can check that out. That was one of the games where I got an un unusually large number of comments, basically saying that I was playing the game wrong, which is really funny, because you wouldn't think you could, but, pe but people always find a way to say you're doing that in every game, even the ones about playing them wrong, or that's the story. Whoa. That's a collision. Can't go up here? What if I want to? How far off map am I right now? Ah, hi everybody. How you doing? No, I thought I dashed out of that. Ow. What? <laughs> I dashed on both sides of him like a lunatic, evading everything, and still got hit by the attack. That's incredible. No, oh, I thought I evaded that. I'm bad. I, I have trouble with the grab attack. Like getting out of it. Get out of here. You dead. There we go. They go in this back door. This almost looks like concept art for uh for The Last of Us. A lot of this stuff. Wadra Slash. I get a vague sense of this game almost being like the equivalent of like a Metroidvania, except there's a narrator constantly telling you the correct way to go, and the gamers will then of course go every other direction they can because of course they want to. Wouldn't mind having more health and stuff like that, so maybe I should save up for it. 180 for more vitality. What about more damage though? I don't think he- I guess more damage is you investing more in the combos themselves. It's a little weird to invest in combos one at a time as opposed to, like, your stats. But XXXX I do a lot. I should probably just buy that. Oh, 
Hello. Spooky lab. Uh. Thor? Wait, Thor's who I was supposed to find. Shit. I went the right way. Damn it. Oh, that shockwave actually reaches the air, apparently. Now. The, he's so tall, the bee is off camera. That's funny. Ow. Yep. He almost looks like he's crying. Am I seeing that animation right? Where it almost looks like he's like wiping his eye when he does some of his attacks. Ow. It's really weird that, that hits you when you're in the air. Oh, he's putting his hand up and shooting the things in the air. Okay. I wasn't looking closely enough because I was looking at my character. But he put it he puts his hands up and then fires the stuff As in the air. Icy defeats Thor, the gates to Ultimopolis slide open. I was just watching him put his hand up to his face over and over again, so I thought that he was like wiping his eye or something. Do anything around here? No, I think that's what we got right now. No, oh, I couldn't see the hole. I was like, how am I escaping from this place? What's going on? Let's go in and upgrade my basic combo. He was just in an underground lab under a regular ass house. Bit of an odd look. Oh yeah, so you go out the side of that... You go out the side door of that warehouse and it just takes you right where you were supposed to go anyway. Okay. Well, I'll admit I'm curious what's down there. Where am I? Oh, this is Ultimopolis. So if you load into Ultimopolis, you load into this map. That's interesting. Well, now I'm curious. If I exit, where does it take me? Oh, here. Thought it might take me back to the screen where I can load into a spot. Can I do that with you? This is just an upgrade screen. Select. Nope. So I can't go back. So at the moment, unless I get access to that one screen again, I can't revisit the ability to check out what might have been under that bridge. But I may have permanently skipped that instead. Can I go in this door? Nope. I see follows the arrow. Getting closer to the main gates. Oh, what Icy must remember is that she must always follow the arrow. Otherwise, she will be lost. Don't judge me. I know how to navigate environments. Hello, centaur monster robot. I made a centaur robot. Ow! Oops. Oh, he didn't get it taken out. Damn it. Oh, didn't hold it long enough. Awkward. I saw her do the animation. I thought she was going to do it. And then said she, she just kind of quit. <laughs> Mixing small enemies with large ones. It's taken some practice to deal with. Because when you fight the grabby guy or the centaur, they have like really, really commanding presences over the map and the current combat scenario. But if you focus on them exclusively for how long it takes to kill them, you're just getting attacked by all these random things constantly. 
but the trade-off goes both ways in that situation. Gates to Ultimopolis are open. Icy enters Ultimopolis, only to be greeted by an empty shell of a city that once flourished. Only the dilapidated buildings give some hint of Ultimopolis's past splendor, of what used to be, before Judas brought destruction. Look at that hallway. I mean, that alley. That's some ghost in the shell looking cool stuff right there, that art. <laughs> That's striking. Uh, money's crap right now. He arrives at a metro station and decides to take a look inside. Every other time he speaks, he says something. Him, him saying something makes me question whether I can do something else. Look inside the metro station, you say, huh? Oh. Can't jump out of it vertically, I guess. Can I knock you into the thing to blow you up? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> as I go through the screen. I want you for Judas. Na shan shi kuin tsu za shi zhaoyun. I said zhaoyun instead of zhaoren. Zhaoyun. Ah! Icy finds another strange box. Have I seen one before? What do you mean another? Wait, is that me? Hang on, is that me? Flash level Icy get. discovers that she can now easily pass through steel bars. Icy resumes her journey, following the arrow to the left. They say I've never seen a box before. They said I've seen this a second. This is my second box that I've found or something, but I've never seen one before ever. And that's clearly another Icy, just like me, the impaled. Almost like the narrator's forgotten which one's me or something. Did, did the game tell me to go down here even? What about back here? I oh, can't go back there? Let's go over the hole. Oh, that's something to a flash level. Flash level, I think, gave me more little dashes, because now I've got five little pips in the bottom of the screen instead of three. I mean, obviously we're going to go right. Has there been a wall for me to dashboard bit through ever before? Did I just get an ability that solves a problem I've never had? Icy ignores the arrow. She doesn't notice the disturbing feeling hanging in the air. <laughs> the irony of saying that, considering, of course, I ah, cool. Ooh, money. Yeah. They give you money in really small intervals in this game. Really? Can't go that way? There's a lot of secrets in this game. She doesn't notice the disturbing uh, feeling in the air. The irony there being that I could never have the feeling in the air because I'm not here. I'm a player of a video game. But him saying that makes me have the implication of that feeling where otherwise I would not. So him stating that I don't feel it actually makes me feel it, but I wouldn't feel it if he didn't say I didn't feel it. So he, he, he's always wrong. <laughs> Essentially. Okay, you need to stop that. That's very rude, weird animal... the Moth monster. What? I, did, I didn't dodge that? I need to figure out how dodging works versus grabs, I guess, because I can't tell what... Uh, which what works in these situations correctly besides running away I guess might be the only option either way I haven't died yet I suppose this is, what is this music is this like dubstep is that what's happening hi oh the, the legs are getting bigger they're getting leggier every day. Every day is leg day for robots? <laughs> Question? Ah! Ah, that was a really- what was that? That was really fast. Yeah, so pretty much whenever you kill something, you do basically heal. Vajoom. Can I do something with it? Wait, did that, 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 wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. That's that's a speedometer. 
<laughs> That's the interface of a, of a car. What's going on there? Why is that there? Ooh, can I stand on that platform? I guess it's blocked. Whatever it is. So I came from down there, right? Oops. <laughs> Go the other way, asshole. She should turn back. Her target is not here. There's so many arrows now telling me where to go. I think. What's this arrow to? I think the Chinese-ness of the game is showing up more. You have this little sign here, which looks like a grave. You can see the Chinese symbols on it. And then, uh, obviously the, the, uh, message before about how... What was the bet? Ah! It explosively forces me the other way? No, not quite. That was an explosion that happened to be on the arrows. Okay. Whoa, what is that? And does it explode at me when I do things? Coming down! <laughs> Ooh. Did I get both of them with that at the same time? Neat. Gotcha. It was, uh, Judas wants you, and it was like, in, underneath that was all Chinese. Whoa. My regen sucks. Why is my... That changed. I used to have super fast regen. Now my dash meter recharges super slowly. Oh, and now I can only do five dashes in a row. Earlier I was, I was dash spamming, and now I can only do five? What's going on there? Also, does that have money on it? I want the money. Oh, it was my $107 value that's on my screen was showing up there. It just happened to be overlapping. I thought, that's, I thought the screen said that for a second. I'm like, I'm gonna beat the money out of that thing. Let's do this. We're, he oh, I see. We're here you again? Learn, do you? you never listen to my advice. I've already said dozens of times. That you must follow the arrow. I don't like how you're talking to me like a belonging. Do you think I'm trying to hurt you? Yeah, sure. You're weirdly commanding me. Also, if you if you made the game, can't you just tell me what to do? You might be do a bad programmer. This path will lead you to the truth? Sure, why not? Hey weird mechs. Every uh person has their own inner demons. Quest for the truth will help you banish yours. I understand your dedication to the chase. The truth is just a lie, however. Every being's self is determined by the heavens. Why must you insist on tracking down an elusive truth? Do you really want to unveil this truth? Sure, why not? Also, I'm sorry, everyone, about the audio balancing in this game. If the voice doesn't stand out very well from the sound of sound effects, I looked for it. Your only options for audio in this game are sound effects and music. I was hoping for a uh, turn down sound effects and music, but turn up voice like I usually do. But voice or voice is not its own slider, I guess. You've actually, already seen it, though perhaps in the form of a corpse, or was it the corpse of yourself? You've seen a glimpse of the truth but you haven't seen it in its entirety because you only see what you want to see. You purposefully directly ignore my directions. You simply want to resist me, but in reality, it's meaningless, no? That, perhaps, is the truth which you should see. This is the truth you seek. I see to you see? We all see for I see? <laughs> you see is extremely happy. You see does not know why she is here, nor how she arrived at this place. However, she feels free. No one is forcing her to make a choice, but she feels alone. Lost. One day, Yusi left this place and soared across the world. Until she met them, her new friends. Yusi was finally no longer lonely. She was free, 
to choose her own path. Yusi could feel a deep connection between the three of them. Ah, this is true friendship. This is what Yusi was searching for. Yusi was truly happy. Maybe. I knew it. <laughs> I knew they were building up for me to kill them. Only when the shackles of a moral body are cast off is one finally able to acknowledge their true self. The price, however, is a heavy one to pay. Judas' suggestion was turned down by those observing the experiment. And only when Judas peered into the Necronomicon did he catch a glance of the truth and the Yellow King. The path for a chosen one was put forward, and only the one who would only the one would ascend the holy throne. I see, you see, we all see for meta narrative. <laughs> I mean, I've got to take a look, right? All right, let's jump in that damn hole. They keep telling me. Has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas. Oh, more soldiers sent by Judas. I don't want to fight this fight. Isaac. Stop making me do it every time. I just wish I could skip the one fight. Ooh, triple kill, right? Not quite. Is it necessary to do that? Can I just beat them up a lot and play? Yeah, till they blow up. Okay, so the finisher's not necessary. I, I can make the fight faster if I just kind of button mash them as a single group. There we go. Icy reaches a quiet hill. Right, this place again. Illuminated by light, dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. Goodbye. The funny thing is, when I was at the peak of being chastised for going off course, uh, when I was looking at that other, what looked like another icy in a in a tube, uh, during that. I had no control over my character. I also had no control over UC. But yeah, the game's even acknowledging the fact that I saw a corpse of another IC already. When I was talking about me seeing my own body. No. I should dash I should I should dash upward. Dash the room. There we go. Always take dam more damage from them than I should. There seems to be a console that Icy slips off the edge of the cliff. Icy is absolutely positive that the only way to cross the ravine. What? How did? <laughs> absolutely positive. There's something amusing about that. Even though you know the game 100% knows you can do that, because otherwise, how would they write, do voice acting for it if they didn't know that you could do it? It's just it's just fun to cut them off. The irony of sorts is that games that are about meta narrative and subverting the narrative or subverting a narrator are actually the games that are usually the least possible for. Uh, unintended conse uh, not consequences, unintended solutions. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. It's more the immersive Sims that uh can allow for completely unintended solutions for. Ah, oh, I can't go back. I was like, I should probably spend my money. Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? Like an immersive sim often allows you to have unintended solutions for a lot of problems, but uh, these games about meta narratives are often more mechanically simple, and there's often not as much chance to actually subvert the game. Hmm. Right, just keep following. 
You're more checking out the different silly options they gave you. It does seem like it is an old sewer. Uh... So it increases energy regen. Not a bad idea. That's more healing. Just setting up my passives to be a little better. Whoa. I can go up for a bit. Doesn't seem to go anywhere, though. Hey there. Wow. I'm not sure what enabled that, but it was cool. Oh, I dashed out of the way of its attack. Right. That's hard to conceptualize a little bit when it's something like... A long-range attack from that far away. Got him. This place is littered with wreckage. I Ooh, you I want it. This place wasn't always a suit. And who is to blame? Judas. Ow. How do I know Judas is to blame? Maybe you're projecting. Are you Judas? Is he Judas? He's the only voice in the game so far. You never know. Weird piles of gross. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Oh, this looks like it might be a boss chamber. Dead. Ah! Hey, buddy. Hey! It's Mr. Skechers. It's the S. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus, that's a fast attack. How do you even do that, like, acrobatically? It's impressive. Anyway, bye. Whoa. I thought there was two of them for a second there. I mean, there kind of was. There's two of him. <laughs> the arrow through and passes through the gate. Is that what I do? Is that what I do? Is follow the arrow? Are you sure about that? And I'll just follow and go through this gate. Icy discovers a hidden room. Yes, I do. Icy opened the treasure chest and turned back to follow the arrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. All that's waiting is just an empty room. I'll see about that. See? I told you. There's nothing here. Why did you bother coming? <laughs> totally empty room. Oh, I know. Your hearing must be bad. Wait for a second. Do not get louder, you fuck. No. That is enough! I don't want to have to remind you every single time, but this world is depending on you. That wicked devil must be destroyed. You still have much to do. Why do you insist on wasting time here? I've always believed people should be a little more trusting and a lot less pompous. But you, you haven't even given me the chance to show my true genius. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand at all. There's nothing here. Not even monsters for you to practice killing. What sort of temptation could an empty room like this have for you? Could it be that you're absolutely terrible at using a controller? Or that your cat has taken over for you? No, it can't be that. Cats could listen to instructions better than you. Your behavior is completely illogical. Is it that hard to follow an arrow? Why aren't you paying attention? Well, I'm furious. Furious! That's it. I'm not saying another word until you get out of this room. I swear it! It's the broom closet ending. <laughs> Can I go in this hole? It even looks like a room where something happens. There's like an arrow pointing at a wall. <laughs> Night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. <laughs> the fuck? Do you
even have the rights to that song? Do you, do you need the rights to that song to put in your game? Does that count as putting the song in your game? I have so many questions. <laughs> so we... So, I assume that the creator of this game exists in our universe. Like, Earth. Normal life, Earth. Because he knows our culture. Is he Coda? What? Wait, does that mean... You wasted all this time in this room just to get a trophy? I... I really have nothing else to say to you. I truly do not understand why someone would play a game just to earn trophies. <laughs> Got an achievement called uh, Waited for Nothing. Are you one of those mythical achievement addicts I've heard so much about? You're like a bull rushing towards a red cloth, not knowing what awaits on the other side. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's an achievement. All right. Oh, you can't leave. <laughs> you, you can't leave. I was going to leave without the achievement just to fuck with them more. Die. Ah, I see. Let's try again. Oh, there's a silver a trophy. A trophy. A trophy! Ugh. I just unlocked a bronze like trophy that, and a silver huh? trophy. You don't care what happens next, right? All you think about is get this trophy, get that trophy, 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 trophy. You don't even care about the story or the content that I've prepared for you for the rest of the game. Your mission isn't to kill Judas. It's to get all the trophies. Am I wrong? So this is what you call fun. Yeah? You really think a trophy can entertain you? You're just looking for more trophy points. Do you know how that makes us game producers feel? You're rendering the content we make completely meaningless. You think playing a game for this petty reason is fun? You just want to show off to the other players. To make yourself feel big, mighty, and important. You're probably not even paying attention to what I'm saying. You don't realize how useless a trophy really is. Maybe you need a little stimulation. Maybe once after you collect all these damn trophies, you'll move on to accomplish your real mission. You have no idea how much time I spent making these enemies and stunning animations. And you, you just care about these trophies. If I had known that, I would have made some easy farming game and not bothered spending time on battle animations or plot development. Shots fired at farming games. Just you wait. My revenge is just beginning. Wait for- <laughs> What the fuck is happening? I don't think you can delete trophies. I guess this game must be on PS4 because that's the trophy system that they have. Only the Yellow King may bestow self on another. Only the Yellow King may bring eternal life. To summon forth the king, the followers answered Judas's call to sacrifice. But was this far from the king intended? Uh, wait, clear archive? Don't, don't clear archive. I just got like four trophies, by the way. I mean, achievements, because I'm on Steam. <laughs> There's one for waiting for nothing, but then, ironically, then you get two... You get three trophies. <laughs> it said you, you, get achievement for, you get the achievement for waiting for nothing, but then they give you the bronze trophy and silver trophy and trophy addict achievements. Now, I want to look at the descriptions of the trophies I've got so far now. Let's see. Oh, wow. So I already have nine out of 34 achievements in this game. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> when he was... When he's talking about oh, how hard video games are to make earlier, he gave me an achievement called Buy Another Copy. <laughs> uh, I, I just got Silver Trophy, Bronze Trophy, uh, Waiting for Nothing, and Trophy Addict. They're called Earn a Silver and Bronze Trophy in the Totally Empty Room, Wait a Few Minutes in the Totally Empty Room, and the Trophy Addict says Finish the Story in the, t in the Totally Empty Room. 
which implies that I beat the game almost. Weird. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm sorry, you guys can't see this right now because it's not how this records. The achievements for the boss fights seem to have explanations of like, like almost like how uh, Dark Souls items, like weapons, will tell you descriptions of bosses. It says, Trinity's Chains, defeat Trinity Trini, could not stop the cycle, nor can she ever stop the wheel of reincarnation from spinning. Thor's Legacy, defeat Thor. Thor understood Judas's ultimate goal and paid the ultimate price in splitting his self to serve Judas. Huh. Okay. Curious about that stuff. So I guess whenever I kill a boss, I can look at the trophy list and I can learn more about each boss. Although, I don't know if I'll put that much together. 